Uh, Shannon, how impressive was Katie's performance and return? Oh, yeah, well, he's very impressive. I mean, I expected nothing less of Kevin Durant. Skip, I mean, he's he's an all-time great player. Ultra efficient. Um, he can do it all. He's a three-level player. Shoot the three, mid-range, get to the basket. You foul him, put him on the free-throw line, he'll go make 90%. He, he's he's a, a transcendent player. So I'm not surprised by this. During the pandemic, Skip, uh, I didn't see any Beyonce concerts. Do you believe she can still sing? I do. I didn't see John Legend play the piano during the pandemic. Do you believe he can still play? I do. I know, but it's much easier just to sit down at the piano and play than it is to take what he missed, 23 games, and suddenly say, bam, no, I not. got this. The man been playing, guess, guess what? Guess why they can do that? Because mm. they all have been doing something for it. Picasso. Picasso took six weeks off. Do you still, he could still play. Do you believe he could still play? Mm. Michelangelo. No, but it's a different. That's it's what a, he it, is, Skip. It, it, it requires some conditioning. Skip. Okay, and if you have they, a, a torn hamstring, you can't condition they, the they way. Did him a, they did a great job of letting him come off the bench, feel his way into the game. It doesn't change. He didn't shrink. Now, all of a sudden, he didn't go from seven foot to six five. His shot didn't become didn't come like Michael Kidd Grilkers. Mm -hmm. So what changed in Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant is great. I expected Kevin Durant to be great. The only thing he did have six turnovers. That's the only negative. But other offensively, Kevin Durant got no hold, no weakness in his game. Mm -hmm. He can do it all. He always has so been. So you thought he'd just trot right back out on the court and go five of five? No, five. I, I think he'd go perfect, Skip. But did I, did I think that? I didn't really know how many minutes they were going to get him. Give him. Were they going to give him ten minutes? You know, he ended up playing what? Seven, 19 minutes. Mm -hmm. So that's, I don't know if I, I thought he would go that far. I thought he might go 10, somewhere 10 to 12, maybe even 15. I would so agree. So I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. Did I expect him to go perfect? <laughs> five and five from the field and three, uh, uh, perfect from the uh, uh, three-point line and perfect from the free-throw line? No, I didn't expect yep. that, Skip. But I expected Kevin Durant to look like Kevin Durant. Remember the first game back? And Skip, after all that layoff that he had, missed the whole season and did, uh, uh, the, uh, the pandemic, and they didn't, he didn't go down to the bubble, and they First game back after over a year, mm -hmm. he looked like Kevin Durant. So mm -hmm. I expected him to look like KD with six weeks, seven weeks off. Mm -hmm. So he is what he is. We know what Kevin Durant is. I have no questions about Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. None when it comes to basketball. Mm -hmm. Neither do I, which is why I would like to welcome back the best player then on the planet. In. We were having a good conversation. We, yep. You know, you was going well, back. You set me right up for that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Kevin Durant immediately left rust in the dust. Yeah. And yet he did it in a way only Nets do it. He did it in a way I didn't see coming. It was game time, and I just, silly me, I just thought, well, if you he's start. back, he'll start. I did, I thought and he might stay for three minutes and then take a rest, right. and then he might come back for another couple of three minutes, right. like you said, and it might total 12. Yes. I, that's what I thought mm -hmm. for the night. No big deal. Just, just get your feet wet. Right. And instead, the game starts, and he's not to be found. Right. He's not on the bench. And I'm like, what are they doing? And then it's reported that he's somewhere back in the <laughs> locker room somewhere warming up in his own way, right. whatever, stretching. Right. Or I don't know. Probably got on the bike a little he bit. He probably did. Maybe ran some little mini wind sprints uh -huh. or something just to make sure everything was, was opened up and that his hamstring was completely open. Yeah. Okay. And then he comes in, and the first thing I know, if we could see the first shot he made, he comes off a, a down screen mm -hmm. on the along the baseline and just pops out to the elbow. If we can see it here, Kyrie just hits him coming right off the screen. And it's an elbow jumper, and he just nails it like, like, That's his shot. like he hadn't left. Yeah. You know, like he's been doing this every night. And he just missed 23 games. And I'm thinking, this team has such – it's got like an arrogant sort of confidence about it, like yeah. in a supreme good way. They're just supremely confident. Like, I, I got this. Skip, I, they got, I haven't missed anything here. How many, how many scores you think in the NBA better than the three that they have on that roster? No, nobody, because <laughs> the truth is, I don't believe any team in the history of this league no, no, has no. ever had three offensive no, talents like those not. together. They have not. They have because, not. Because, by the way, Kyrie is playing at his highest level yes. of his career, as we saw last night. Right. The, the, the dunk, the explosive dunk. He, he's not a dunker. No. And I think he's, he's really sort of real showing good. He's off. Real yeah, good like, like, like watch now. this. He's six feet two, and he goes up, and he hangs on the rim and is pointing to his either family or friends yeah. over on the side. You see so that? He did have some fans in. Did you see this? <laughs> God, what are you doing? 
He's that happy to have that his. That's Uncle Drew there. That's Uncle Drew. <laughs> that's Uncle Drew. Like, what? That's, I'm happy to have my guy back. Right. Right? Watch yeah. this, Kevin. Right. You got yours, I got mine. So that now they're just like feeding off each other. Right. And obviously, James now has some hamstring issue of his own. Right. I don't think it's as serious as Kevin's. Right. And I'm pretty sure he'll come back. And by the way, when he left, he was playing at his highest offensive level we have ever seen right. him play at. Right. And then ESPN had a stat last night, which I double-checked just to let this sink in. No team in the history of this league has had six players on its roster who have made multiple all-NBA teams. Not all-star teams. I'm talking about all-NBA right. teams. This team has six like, more than any. Yeah. It's got Kevin with nine mm -hmm. and six first teams. James Harden with seven with six first teams. Kyrie with two, no first. These guys don't have first, but Kyrie has two. Blake has five. Lamar Saldridge has five. And DeAndre Jordan made three first teams. Yeah. I mean, I'm sorry, three all-NBA all NBA teams team. and one first team. Right. But, but that's – the, the collection right. and depth of right. that talent and is thing, absurd. Skip, you might, if you think about it, because, you know, Clyde Drexler was an all-NBA player, and so was Barkley, so was Elijah yeah. Wan. But these guys are on the team. They're really in their prime. Ain't nobody over the hill. The, the top three. Yeah, the top yeah, three right, in, right, in, right. in their absolute prime. Yes. Kyrie's still in his 20s. And, and by the way, DeAndre Jordan takes a lot of flack as kind of the fourth wheel or whatever. Right. But but he made first team All NBA in 2016. It's yes. not that far back. No. Right. When he led the league in field goal percentage. Right. Okay. Well, well, he still got some game. Right. Yes. And I think he still got some defensive game. Well, I think the thing is, Skip, is that they like Claxton really well. They and do. Lamarcus I, Aldridge. The more I watch him, the better he gets, man. And Lamarcus Aldridge can just do things that DeAndre Jordan can't. Agreed. He, he's a, he's live. He got three-point range. You can pick and roll him. You can pick and pop him. And trust me, because I've watched him so much as a spur. <laughs> he can protect the rim. Yes, He's yes. a long 6'11". Right. right, and so the thing is, when you get DeAndre Jordan, Skip, basically all you're getting is pick and roll, lob to the rim. But you, you see LaMarcus, Skip, he can step back. He can hit that 15-footer. He got three-point range. He can pick and roll also. He ain't going to really catch no lob, but, hey, he'll pick it, lay it up in there, okay. dunk it occasionally. So... The, the only team that's going to stop the Nets to me, as I've told you before, is the Nets right. because they got some weird dudes on this team. They yeah, got some – I, I don't know what they're like, – like Kevin says after the game, it was pretty cool coming off the bench. And I'm thinking, it was? <laughs> you like that? Are you going to now advocate for I, – I think I should be Manu Ginobili? Yeah, I, should... I, I think Steve uh, Steve asked you to put his foot down. I said, nah, bro, you ain't coming off, the, you ain't coming and, off no bench. You're about to be no six man. As you've pointed out – Many times, Kyrie was saying, we don't really need a coach. <laughs> well, I, I think that's their mentality. But I think Steve Nash is kind of hanging in there doing a pretty good job he with is. this group, yeah. right? So the point is. Yes, Gil, just call a timeout. If another team go on a run, <laughs> just call a timeout. That's what you got to do. Hey, guys, I'm just giving y'all a break. Y'all will figure it out. <laughs> but, but they do seem to share the ball pretty well. Oh, yeah, well. they do. Yes. It yeah. looked good last night. The ball movement looked good. And Kevin said after the game, all you have to do is move yourself and move the ball. Right. And it works. Right. Well, they seem to get that. Right. And I don't see a lot of solo ball. No. You know, iso ball. No, they don't. I mean, Skip, they got guys that can shoot. I mean, look, the three big three can all shoot the three. Then you got Joe Harris, who's a marksman. He you is got, a marksman. You got a, 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 a Shamit, who's a marksman. You got TLC who can shoot the three. And we they, both love Jeff Green because yeah, he's just man, a basketball Jeff, player. That's all he does, Kev. And he looks great. He, <laughs> he doesn't look his age. The poor Jeff. Jeff ought to ask for a rage because it don't matter. They put him on Zion. They do. They'll put him on Anthony Davis. Who, <laughs> they put him on Giannis. Skip, they give him the toughest assignment night in and night, night out. And he still he, hey, he get, plays hard on the defensive end. He'll hit big threes. Big he, rebound, he rebounds. I, I've always I, I've liked him ever since I saw him when he was playing with LeBron in Cleveland. He just he's just a basketball player. So now there's a countdown to the playoffs, and their only issue is going to be the big three just haven't played nearly enough games right. together. So when does James come back, and how quickly can they reach chemistry where it starts to really click? Well, maybe they don't need chemistry. Well, yeah, uh, James Harden ain't coming back before the end of April. Before the uh, end of April. They talk well, about they, ten days. They, they tried the other exactly. day. Exactly. No, I'm, I'm, ch I'm not chancing that. Uh, James Harden, I will see you the first of me. Okay, but then that's he and Kyrie and Kevin just haven't played enough games. That's what together. don't worry about. Skip, okay. I ain't worried about that. Right. I worry about that. the only thing I believe that can derail them is health. Mm. That's it. Because Skip, they have three guys that on a given night, two of the three can go get forty. If all three need to, all three can go get you twenty-five plus. Who else can do that? 
well, can't all three get 50 if they want to? No, no, no seriously. No, no, they, they can't. I don't know if they get out of the game, but yes, we've seen all these guys. We know what Kevin, Kevin Durant, we've seen James Harden. We, we know James Harden. James Harden, can get, James Harden can get 60, and you look up just like, he has 60? KD gets, gets 40, and you're like, man, that dude only took 18 shots. He got 40 points. And then Kyrie is dead. You forget because Kyrie is so artistic that you forget, like, Kyrie had 40, what, 41 the other night? Yep. And you're like, hold on. All I saw was those acrobatic layups. He did, oh, he had 40 points? Yes, he had 40 points and was yes. dancing in the process. He was dancing. And, and so, yes, I, I'm, not, I'm not worried about that, Skip. I'm not because you know come playoff, and I get it, come playoff time, teams get to focus in seven games. We just worried about you. We don't have to leave here and go play Philly. We don't have to leave here and go play Boston, anybody else. We just got to focus on you. But because these guys, all of them, are so great one-on-one, -on -one, yep. you got the double. If one of these guys get hot, you better come doubling. Because if you don't, he's going for 50. I and if agree. one of these guys get 50, you can't beat him. So my final comment on this is on fitness level. We <clears> both questioned James looking like he got heavy. Right. And maybe he ate his way out of Houston. Right. But it, it never seems to bother him. He, he can have a little pot belly, right. and it doesn't bother him. James he, might have he, a body suit on scale. He might well, have had a fat suit. He might well, have been well, active. Well, well seriously. He, he's a baller, yeah. and he's played, he, or he had until he went right. out. He played the most minutes yes. in the league. Yes. And then we come to Kevin last night. He looks thinner than he ever has. Well, so he took 23 games off. I don't know what his, his nutrition level. Right. I think it's pretty good. Right. But, but he, he gets skinnier by the day. So yeah. he doesn't have any issue of, I'm going to put on a couple when I'm taking games Skip, off, right? Skip, that joke, I mean, he's so thin as it is. Skip, that's like a giraffe growing two inches. Hell, he already 20 feet tall. How the hell yeah. you know he grow two inches? <laughs> Kevin Durant all the way, all the way to 175 and 7 foot. I can't tell if he lost five or gained 20. Which brings me to Kyrie. He's taking a few games off here and there, some personal issues. Kyrie definitely looks in shape. Kyrie is hey, thin. He, he looks the, the greatest. He looks, he looks weight room yeah. fit, man. Yeah. He, he looks good. He's got a man body. Yeah. He, he can power people to yeah. the rack. Okay, he's, look, Kyrie's special. I mean, that's what that's why LeBron always said this, man. You don't y'all don't realize how good Kai is. Yeah, y'all don't realize how good he is. No, 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 no. He 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 he's special, special. Okay, so now can Steve Nash sort of keep it all? <laughs> that that's <laughs> that's his toughest job. Yep. Keep it all the egos yeah, in check I know. and I let know. all that yeah. stuff. We don't need no coach. I, I ain't even listen. To, I, don't, yeah. I don't even hear that because okay. a lot of times, like, hold on, bro. Y'all do y'all you, you, Kyrie. Keep that down, bro. Well, you don't have anything to be concerned about because you won't get past the Clippers to start with. So, oh, oh. You know, with our know, big, yeah. big three? Is that what it is? Shaquille Drummond? <laughs> well, when Shaquille Drummond get healthy, no, it's over. No, he's Kareem Abdul Drummond. I'm sorry. That's who he is. Skip, you know, Skip, that's all right. Huh? You know, yeah, his worry flow out there. LeBron could be ready by the end of the month. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Okay. okay. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.